Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'll be showing how to build this awesome Minecraft mob themed like survival house or triplex or apartment, whatever you want to call it. So it's basically based off of some of the like more classic mobs in Minecraft. You know, we got the Enderman, we got this Creeper, the Zombie, Skeleton, Spider, and we have Hero Brian, which, you know, I know he's not, some people don't consider him an actual mob because he's not in the game. Um, but, you know, it depends who you ask. Some people think he is. You, you know, you know the whole story behind Hero Brian, but I like him, so I decided to add him to it anyway. Um, this is actually based off of my old, like, you know, uh, FNAF style house. House that I built just like this. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. It's on the channel. It's basically the same concept, but it's all FNAF characters. As you can see, it got pretty big. Um, I'm still going to add the sister location characters to this, but I just want to wait till all the characters have been released and stuff because I don't want to awkwardly add like random characters until I have all the characters so I can make it like complete, you know? So wait until that comes out and then I'm going to be adding those characters. But for now, let's start on this Minecraft. Well, I'm not sure if I'm going to be expanding on this one or not. Uh, it depends if you guys want to or not. But if you guys would want to see something similar to this, but like a different theme maybe like avengers or marvel like in general or dc or just anything just let me know and i could try and work on that but anyway let's get started on this one i love this build a lot so i'm really excited to build it what we're gonna need is gray wool black wool uh, light gray wool and also block of redstone that's for our first one over here which is the spider and we're gonna work our way through each one so let's get started on it Okay guys, so before getting started, if you guys can be a huge favor and just scroll down really quickly and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. It costs you absolutely nothing and it really helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's get started on this right now though. So starting off, we're gonna start with the gray wool and we're gonna work into the right. And as always guys, if at any point in the video you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or rewind at any point in order to catch up. So starting off, we're gonna do one gray wool, then we're gonna do one light gray wool, then one black wool, then two gray wool, one, two. Then one black wool, then one white wool, or not white wool, light gray wool, and then one gray wool. Just like this. That's what you look like right now. Next row, repeat that exact same thing. So let's double up on everything you just did, basically. Alright. Next row is going to be a full row of gray wool. Alright. Next row is going to be two gray wool. One, two. Then four block of redstone, or also red wool if that's easier for you. One, two, oops. Two, three, four. Then two gray wool, one, two. All right, next row is gonna be one redstone, one gray wool, four redstone, one, two, three, four, one gray wool, then one redstone. All right, next row is gonna be one redstone, six gray wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, then one redstone. All right, next row is gonna be two gray wool, one, two, one redstone, two gray wool, one, two, one redstone, then finish it off with two gray wool. All right, next row is gonna be one gray wool, one red wool, four gray wool, one, two, three, four, one red, uh, red sting, a uh, redstone, or I keep saying red wool, I think, but you know what I'm talking about, and then one gray wool. And that's it for the front right here. And obviously, we're gonna be adding these, you know, back, so I'm gonna go and show you that next. So, this is the front. For the sides, you know, because we're not gonna be able to see the side very much, I went with very simplistic design on the sides, really. So, what you're gonna do is take this back. A total of seven blocks so one two three four five six and seven and in reality you could really take it back maybe eight blocks or nine blocks in order to add you you know give you some extra space and you can get away with that but I'm just gonna do seven for the sake of this video um, so right there and do the same thing on this back corner over here and then do the same thing on top up here bring it back into the same length you don't have to count it out every time you can just kind of eyeball it just know it's seven blocks so we'll count this one now one two three four five six and seven all right, and then connect those those little like you know extensions we just made here. So I might show you how to do it for the first couple, and then after that I might just let you guys do them because it's pretty simple. And then connect them to the tops to the bottom, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the sides perfectly just like this, with the gray wool here still. And then over here, oops. Then over here on this side we're gonna do the same thing, except for we're gonna add our door really quickly just because we're already here, you know. So. First off, just go ahead and do a whole row of gray wool. Next one, do two gray on both sides. And then do that again, and just kind of like, that's our door art way right there. Nothing really, you know, too complicated about that. Just make a hole in it. <laughs> Anywhere you want, there's the door is. And then fill in the sides completely. All right, and then fill in our top. And again, I'm just showing you the first one so you can get like an idea of what you're doing. You're literally just filling in a square pretty much. So, you know, you're just gonna fill all this in. And then on the back, all you're gonna do is on the bottom, you're gonna do one row. And on the top, you're gonna to do one row. And then whatever you color your, you know, the wool you're using, you're gonna go ahead and get your gray wool out, or gray uh, stained glass out, or regular glass if you don't have this, and just fill this in. 
Just so you have a window inside here for, you know, if you actually do the interior and add your flooring and stuff. Just like that. So that's our spider one. So that's pretty simple. Let's get started on the next one, which will be the skeleton. So for that, we're going to need to get out a block of quartz. And we already have gray wool, so I'm just going to move that over here, though. And let's get started on that one. Okay, so the skeleton, he's actually probably the easiest along with, um, well, actually the Enderman and the zombie are even easier. So <laughs> what we're going to do is on the spider, we're going to go three blocks to the right. So one, two, three. And from here, we're going to go to the right until we'll have eight block of quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, next row is going to be one block of quartz, then a spacing of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, then one block of quartz. Next row, a full row of block of quartz. Next row is going to be one block of quartz, a spacing of two, two block of quartz, a spacing of two, then one block of quartz. Then the next four rows are going to be just block of quartz. There's one, then two, then three, then four. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come behind this face here, and you have two choices here. So you can either just fill this area, these gaps we left here with gray wool like this, and leave it like that. And that looks nice, and it gives you a little bit more space indoors. Or you can make it kind of like a 3D look, which I think it looks a little bit better because, you know, it is a skeleton. So it does have a little bit more of like, you know, an empty feel to it. And you can remove this and like basically kind of give it like a hollow feel. And I think that looks much better, but you will have a lot more space on the inside if you if you do it the other way. So just keep that in mind. And then the next thing we're going to do is the same thing we've done in this one. We're going to take all the corners back by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, six, seven, there we go. And then do this one too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then connect them. Connect the side. Just like that. And then you guys know what to do. So what we're going to do is do one row on the bottom here. One row on the top. And then I'm going to get my white stained glass. Or again, if you don't have white stained glass, you could just get um, any glass, really. Just regular glass. And fill this in. And then once you've done this, you're going to fill in the entire sides and the top in with block of quartz. So I'm going to skip ahead for this part just because it'll take a little bit of time. But again, just pause the video right now and fill in again the sides and the top. All right. Okay, so that's our skeleton. Really simple. As you can see here, we have the window and everything. And as you guys know, if you're wondering how you're going to get from each one of the two, you know, the uh, different heads, there's going to be these little connections I'm going to show you how to build right here, which basically gives you access to all of them. All right, so let's start on the next character, which is the zombie. So for the zombie, you're just going to need black wool and you're going to need green wool. And that's that's it, actually. So and we're going to need the green glass, obviously, in the back, but that's about it. So again, just like we did the spider, you're going to go from the skeleton to the right, a total of three blocks. So one, two, three. And from here, you're going to go to the right, a total of eight blocks of the green wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next two rows are going to be green wool, a green wool. So it's basically three rows high of green wool. Just like this, so three rows of eight. All right, and the next row is going to be one green wool, two black, two green wool, two black, then one green wool. Then the next four rows are just green wool. I told you the zombie is probably the easiest. <laughs> the zombie and... And the Enderman's pretty easy too, but the, the zombie's the easiest for sure. Alright, so now you have that. We're gonna do the same thing we did in all the other ones. Bring all the corners back by seven. Honestly, at this point, you can just kind of look at your skeleton or whatever block, you know, character you have next to you and just kind of you know match it up like that. It's really simple. Once you get one character down, the this part is like, you know, it's kind of just doing it over and over again. So again, I'm gonna do it with you guys this one more time. And then I'll be just, you know, telling you guys. Well, I don't know, maybe I'll just do it with you guys, but just do the back area. So we're gonna connect all of them just like this then again add one line to the top one line to the bottom and then I'm gonna get my green uh, stained glass out and again I'll say it again <laughs> if you don't have green stained glass you could just use regular glass all right and just fill that in and then for everything else we're just gonna fill it in with the green wool so again I'm gonna skip ahead for this but feel free to pause the video and you know catch up uh, so yeah so go ahead and do that Okay, so now our zombie is done. He looks pretty awesome, too. We'll take a look at the back and see the uh, window, same way we did the other ones. Now we're going to do the next character, which is the Enderman. He's going to be right above the spider. And you guys can arrange these any way you want. If you want the creeper down there, if you want, you know, whatever you want to do, you can do that. Um, this is just the way I made it. So we're going to do the Enderman right on top of the spider. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left corner of the spider's head. And we're going to go up three blocks with black wool. And for the Enderman, you're just going to need purple wool, black wool, and magenta wool. So one, two, three. And then remove the bottom two. 
Then from this black wool, we're going to go to the right, a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there's basically a row of eight black wool, two blocks above the spider's head. Pretty simple. Next two rows are going to be black wool. All right, and then our next row is going to be one magenta wool, then one purple wool, then one magenta wool, then two black wool, then one magenta wool, one purple wool, one magenta wool. All right, and then our next four rows are going to be black wool. Like I said, the Enderman is just as easy as the, well, the like I said, the, end, the zombie was the easiest because he only had two eyes. <laughs> this one's a little bit harder because it does have two eyes, but the eyes are a little bigger. All right, so again, the next four rows are just black wool. So that's our Enderman right there. And I want, to make a, I want to check something real quick. Yep, I knew I messed up. On my original, I used pink instead of magenta. I was like, why does it look so weird? I messed, like, it doesn't look normal, like I normally whenever I make Enderman. All right, there you go. <laughs> I just wanted to fix that real quick. All right, so now let's just do add, uh, add the back real quick. So the top ones are a little bit different. I'll show you why. So we're going to extend them all back by seven. Again, I don't really need to count them because I can just look right down here below. And I can see, you know, where I lined up that one. Bring all this one back. And then bring the top back. And you don't have to do this, but I'll show you how it's, how it's different, all right? So because we are on the top, we have available, you know, we can see the sky. So that's kind of, a, you know, a plus we have here. But let's just finish up connecting all these real quick. And over here. And then what you can do is this. So on the top here, you could leave this open. And what I'm going to do on mine is I'm just going to do the windows the same we have been doing them this whole time by just adding one right here and then adding one down here. And then I did the black wool, you know, of course, like, you know, matching whatever, you know, color of the wool you're using. And then on top here, I filled it completely in with glass, except for the outer ring. And just because, you know, now we have kind of like a sky roof, it lets some natural lighting in. And I think it looks really nice. But again, you don't have to do this. I just figure you might as well because, you know, it is visible. But the thing is, if you ever add, plan to add characters, you know, as I did with the FNAF house, it's going to, you're going to have to remove that. So... If I ever, you know, add on to this build, or if you want to do it yourself, it's going to be a little bit more annoying to have to remove these on the top. So, now I'm just going to fill in everything else, though, with black wool. So, again, I'm going to skip ahead for this, but I'll go ahead and pause the video and, you know, fill in the sides and whatever else there you want to you want to fill in if you want to fill in the top. All right? So, go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're going to be doing Hero Brian. And Hero Brian, the way you're going to do this, basically, is, again, the same way we did the Enderman. Go to the skeleton this time. Then we're going to go up by three with the white stained clay. We can also use, we're going to need snow, and we're also going to need brown wool. So from here, oh, no, <laughs> we're going to use the um, white stain clay and go up by three. So one, two, three, and then remove these bottom two. And then from here, we're going to go to the right, total of two white stain clay, one. Well, technically it's two, but, you know, I just added one. <laughs> and then we're going to do four brown wool, one, two, three, four. Then two white stain clay, one, two. Then the next row is going to be two white stain clay, one, two. Then one brown wool. Two white stained clay, one brown wool, two white stained clay, and then do the next row. The next row is three white stained clay, one, two, three, two brown wool, one, two, three white stained clay, one, two, three, and then our next row is going to be one white stained clay, two snow, two white stained clay, two snow, and then one white stained clay. Next row is a full row of white stained clay. All right, next row is going to be one brown wool. Six white stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, six, then one brown wool. Then the next two rows are going to be brown wool all the way up. All right, there you go. So now we have our hero Brian's face. And now what we're going to do is this we're going to bring the bottom back by six or seven, I mean, seven white stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what we're going to do is this we're going to start right here in his hair and we're just going to go diagonal the whole way down. I know this isn't always how his hair looks, but the thing is, he's in the middle, so nobody's going to see it anyway. And this is just the easiest way to do it. All right, and then once you're here, you're just going to bring this all the way back. And then you can just, like, you know, bring it down, like, here, too, if you wanted to. And just bring it all the way down. That works. <laughs> Whatever you think looks best. I think that would, eh, that's me, maybe bring it back. How did I do the other one? Let's go check. I want to be 100% sure. Yeah, that's how I did it. On the last, like, three blocks, I just basically did the, um, the brown wool. Sorry about that, guys. So the last three, you want to be the brown wool and then go diagonal the rest of the way up. All right, do the same thing on this one. So we'll go back by five with the white stained clay. One, two, three, four. Technically, wait, is it? Yeah, four. Perfect. All right, and then do three of the brown wool. One, two, three. And then fill the whole side in with the, uh, oh, not, I'm sorry, guys. I'm like messing up here. I just follow that side at this point. 
And I'll like show you guys exactly what I did here just to be sure so you know, nobody makes any mistakes. Alright, so that's what I did, basically. You know, I followed the hairline diagonal and then I went with the last four right here like this. Alright, and the same thing on this side. And then just fill this area in with the white stained clay. And I don't know why that was so difficult. Um, I don't know. I had a lot of trouble with him for some reason. Just now. And then what we're going to do is fill the rest of it in on the sides with brown wool. He's the only character that I'm going to work with you all the way through. Just because, I don't know, I had a lot of trouble with him. Maybe you might have trouble with him too. Alright, and then over here. Same thing. Alright, almost at the top here. And then on top again, if you want to do the sunroof, you can do that. But right now we're to the back. We're just going to bring this, you know, connect this. Do a second row. And then do two at the bottom as well. And then I'm going to get my brown wool out, or brown stained clay. And I'm going to fill this back, the top area, or the back area right here. And again, if you don't want to do the sunroof, you're just going to fill in the top with the brown wool. And I'm going to fill it in with the glass. Like I said, I'm not going to skip ahead on this one just because I want everybody to be able to see what I'm doing here. Just in case that area at the beginning messed you up by me not explaining it very well, to be honest. Alright, and then come down here. But like I said, you can always pause the video or rewind it, you know, play it in slow motion, whatever you need to do in order to get it across. Because I know I didn't do the best job ever on explaining that one. I apologize it for that. Okay, and let's fill this bottom in with the white stained clay. Alright, so now we're done with Hero Brian, thankfully. <laughs> so now he's out the way. Now all I have to do left is to add the creeper. And I'm sure you guys can see which colors we need for him. All we're gonna need to get out is just the lime or what was I, what was I, what was I trying to say? <laughs> the lime wool and also black wool. Okay? And I'm gonna get out a swiftness potion as well. Alright, so let's do him. Now what we're gonna do for this is you're just gonna go right here on the zombie's head, go up by three with the lime wool. One, two, three. And we're gonna go to the right, it's a total of one lime wool. Then one black wool, two lime wool, one black wool, two lime wool. Alright, so that's what you have right now. Then the next row is going to be two lime wool, one, two. Four black wool, one, two, three, four. Two lime wool. Then the next one's going to be two lime wool, four black wool, two lime wool. Next one's going to be three lime wool, one, two, three. Two black wool, one, two. Three lime wool, one, two, three. Then the next one's gonna be one lime wool, two black wool, two lime wool, two black wool, one lime wool. Next row, the exact same thing. All right, and our final two rows are just gonna be the lime wool. This is just for the you know the whole front area. All right, and then the backs, exactly the same. We've done everything else. We're gonna bring every corner back by seven. And this one I am gonna skip ahead for because this is like a super easy one as well. And let me get my lime glass out real quick. Alright, do this corner, and this corner, and yeah, almost, it almost matches up with my Game Boy house over there. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's pretty awesome, I think. One of my favorite videos I've done this year was that Game Boy survival house. Alright, and then over here, connect this bottom, connect the sides, and let's add our window real quick. Okay, and once I've done this, like I said, I'm going to skip ahead because I'm going to need to fill in the entire bottom, the sides, and my top with my glass. Um, so yeah, go ahead and pause the video right now and do this as well. Okay, so now we're done with all the heads. Let's start adding our doors real quick. So we added the door already on this side. All you're going to do is find the two center blocks, you know, those are two blocks above the ground. And we're just going to, like, you know, make some stairs, basically. It's pretty simple. Just like that. All right. And then we're going to put our door in there. Use whatever kind of door you like. I'm going to go ahead and use the spruce door on this one. Just because I think it looks a little bit, you know, fits the house, I think. I didn't think I used it on that one, but I don't know. I think it looks nice. Same thing over here. Find two blocks, you know, find those two center blocks. Basically, where there's three blocks on both sides. And then go up by two and remove those. Place our doors. And then we're going to put our brick, stone bricks here, you know, to get our staircase going. And it should look like that. And now we're going to add our connections. Basically, this is going to be how you get from house to house. And that's really simple. Same way we did the door, basically. You're going to do the same thing, except we're going to go up another extra block. So you're basically going to be doing the center two blocks of the whole build. So just like this. So you're going to go up, like, find the center two blocks. All right, so I found my two center blocks. And I'm going to go up by three. One, two, three. And on the fourth block, I'm going to remove these two. And then the fifth block. So it should be three above and three below. All right, and then around this, I'm going to go ahead and build a glass window. 
All right, and then on these back blocks though, you want to do stone bricks. It's just to kind of get like a surface. And the reason why I did that is because I'll show you in a second. So you're gonna do like this, build the glass connection just like that. And then when you come in here, this is gonna be how you walk from like you know I'm in here example, and I'm gonna remove this. And this is where my next connection is. So you're gonna have like a little, you know, you put your flooring here, and it's gonna be like a little ladder that lets you go up here and into this place. I mean, I, realistically, you're not supposed to be going into, you know, unless you're building this for you alone, you know, that would be, you know, having to walk from each different direction, which would kind of be cool if you had like a bedroom there and like a bunch of different like sectors for different things. Um, but you have these ladders, so that's a little bit more inconvenient. But you know, that's just, you know, that's the the risk you take in having a house like this. And this is how you get in from each of them. But the reason why that that uh, stone brick is there like that is because you can't put ladders on you know anything besides you can't put ladders on glass so I had to put stone brick on the backs of this and it kind of looked weird having you know stone bricks on that but not having stone bricks here so I just wanted to make it kind of look like connector ports in my opinion so that's how I did that one and once you have one in place all you have to do is just drive it through to the next side so just drive it through boom 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 over here and then add our little bridge again oops I didn't mean to do that yeah, where's the gray wool? Here it is. And make our bridge, same way we did that one. Again, leaving these back two area, these back two blocks to have the uh, stone ports. All right. All right, so boom, there you go. That's the bottom floor, I think. I think it's all of the bottom floor right there. Okay, so let me go check that out real quick. So, yeah, so this is the bottom floor. Now we're just do the same thing for the top, exactly the same thing. Go up by, find the two center blocks, go up by four. One, two, three, four. Oops, I actually was off by one block. <laughs> See, that's why you have to make sure you have the center blocks. I was not in the center. So here's the center, and then the same way I'm gonna just drive these through. All right, and then the same way I showed you guys before, you're just gonna make your port. So, Go ahead and do this right now. I'm gonna skip ahead in the video because this is gonna take a little time to make mine all the way. But all I'm doing is making those glass, you know, bridges basically. I just showed you guys before. So go ahead and do this, and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's all of our side ports. And the side ports are really easy. So now the middle ports, basically the ones that go up and down, are extremely easy as well. You're just gonna go same exact thing. Find these two center blocks. Go in by four blocks. One, two, three, four. And here's our center blocks right here. So remove two of these. Then we're gonna make a bridge. Basically, have these stone brick going all the way up into the next area and you can leave the blocks there if you want to so you can even leave it like that if you want to to keep it like the same color just like that do the same thing over here find our four one two three four boom boom and then take this up over here one two three four oops i'm gonna use a stone brick what am i doing here Okay, so now that that's out the way, now I'm going to use my white stained glass to close this up. And that's going to be it. And you don't have to even do this. I mean, if you wanted to just make a, a clean ladder there, you could. But I just like the way it kind of looks like a Game Boy. Like, or not a Game Boy. Like, kind of like a link cable, like, from the Game Boy. I was thinking of, like, like a port, you know, like a pipe or something. I don't know. Just I think it looks cleaner having the glass there. It makes it look like you're not exposed to, you know, people shooting arrows at you and stuff. And, you know, skeletons and stuff like that. So... Yeah, so I just think it's better to have the glass there. It's more protective. All right, so close this last one up here. All right, just like this. So I'm not going to do the interior on this one just because there's not really much to do. I mean, you could pretty much, you know, make this area down here, add some flooring. I like to do my flooring like right around here, basically a block above the ground. And now you use like, I went down, I dug down a level basically to make it a little bit like a basement. And then I put my floor in right here, like I said, and put like a staircase like that. I'll show you guys one floor. That way it's just like a really easy. So what I did was like right here, I did the planks like this. And I put this at level. So basically it was kind of like one of those, almost like a balcony, not balcony, like a sliding glass door type of thing. And then right here, I dug down three blocks. So I dug down three blocks and I removed all of this and I made it storage. So this is just all storage down here. If you want to remove three blocks down here. So this is just give you guys inspiration of what to do. I'm not gonna do a full interior on this house because it's not, like I said, it's really small. It's not really that serious. It's like more, you know, kind of whatever you think it would look best. So remove all these blocks. Then, you know, and, you know, decorate it, you know, put some like an you know, actual wall to make it look better. And then, you know, put your, you know, your chest down here, anything you need down here. And then up here, you just put, you know, your flooring just like this. And you can put like, you know, your, you know, your chests of stuff that you need all the time, crafting table, stuff like that. 
And then right here, you're gonna put your ladder that takes you all the way up to the second floor. All right, and that's how you're gonna get up and down the floors. And that's basically, this is where your bedroom would be. So up here, you make a bedroom. And that's how you do it on all the floors, guys. I mean, it's nothing that serious. I could even show you my FNAF one to give you some more inspiration on what I did for the interior on that one. And that's pretty much it, though, guys. So let me go ahead and show you that, though, really quickly. If you're leaving the video right now, if you hit the like, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, subscribe if you're new here. But I just want to give some people some inspiration for the interior. So down here, as you can see, I have, like, you know, my chest and stuff like that over here. Then up here, I have, like... You know, basically the bedroom. Pretty simple, you know, nothing too crazy. Come over here, this is in our bedroom. And that's pretty much how the build is. It's not meant to be like some luxurious indoor house. You're mainly, you know, you're, you're, you know, the main thing about this house is the outside and how awesome it looks. A lot of them, it's the kind of thing with most of my houses. Like, you know, I have a lot of crazy houses, you can see here. And that's kind of the theme I go with. It's more for the, you know, this, you know, kind of like the flashy effect, you know. This one has a pretty nice interior, actually, I think. But anyway, so we're going to go on from here. So. Anyway, guys, if you guys can be a huge favor, hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. And, yeah, that's about it, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.